Hey, what's happening, guys? We are back talking soldering, actually desoldering, once again. And today we're going to take a look at my preferred method for desoldering items. You ready to see it? All right. Here it is. These are hollow desoldering needles. You can see there they are empty and they work wonderfully. I wish they had had these available when I was in the Navy, but they didn't. So let's swing back up here to our board and let's zoom in a little bit. What we need to find is the diameter of those vias. So I'm going to start with a 1.4 millimeter. That's too big. So it's probably, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Not quite 1.2, are they one millimeter? No, the one millimeters will work. Okay. So anyway, these are the desoldering needles, and they're hollow, so how do they work? Well, they're stainless steel, and solder does not like to stick to stainless steel. So we bring out our regular soldering iron, and we heat up the joint. can't find the hole. There we go. Once we do that, we put the hollow needle through the hole, just like that. Now when I turn this over, you can see the, the hollow needle has encased the leg of the resistor and we can pull it back out and you see that that hole is open now we do it again for the other side a little too much pressure there but whoopsies there we go and you can see that our component has simply fallen out and when we pull out the hollow needle can we focus on that yeah you can see there that the holes are completely open. It's pretty cool. So that was a resistor. Let's hit it again this time with a, uh, this is a diode. there. can't tell if I'm on it or not. Yeah. There you go. You can see we've encased the leg of the diode. You pull that out. One more to do. It's just that simple. There's a diode, it just fell out. And the holes are perfectly clear. 
for you to install new components. So this kit is from eBay. It costs about five dollars and it has sizes from 0 0.08 or 0.8 millimeters all the way up to 1.2 millimeters and you simply use whatever size, largest size, that will fit through the holes in your board. It makes desoldering very easy. Don't buy the cheapest set you can come across because they may not be made of stainless steel and if solder sticks to these well then they're worthless. So that's how to use hollow needles for desoldering or I imagine you could use it to uh, pierce your nose as well. But uh, you do that at your own risk. I will provide no instructional video for that. Anyway, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.